Eight-year-old Hannah, a courageous third grader from Los Angeles, is winning over the internet, one bite at a time. Today I'm going to be trying strawberry yogurt. Strawberry yogurt might be unremarkable to most. And now you're ready to try it? Yeah. Okay. I'm scared. At least it's pink. It is pink. It smells bad. I can smell it from here. For Hannah, who has a rare eating disorder called ARFID, trying small bites of typical foods is a monumental feat. I really don't like this. It reminds me of a cucumber. But I even did four bites just to make sure that I'm proud of myself. Since January, as part of a new therapy approach, Hannah tries one new food each day, rating them on a scale of 1 to 10. I got the unicorn-shaped mac and cheese to make me feel better. Like her very first taste of mac and cheese. I'm really anxious. It's too cheesy and wet and it's too strong. 4 out of 10, I don't know if I want to eat this again. Here I go. Ugh, horrible. That was the worst texture I've ever had, even worse than the pie. Hannah is part of a growing number diagnosed with Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder, or ARFID. Since 2013, when it was added to the list of official mental health disorders, it's rare, but an estimated 0.5 to 5% of children and adults have the disorder. Often confused with more common eating disorders like anorexia or bulimia, ARFID is not about a person's self-image or drive to be thin. The people that have this diagnosis have a fear of food, meaning a fear of consuming food, a fear of being around food. Um, that could look like a fear of texture, um, different aversions to smells. It can also present in a form of fear of choking, vomiting, or being allergic to the food. Sometimes, patients with ARFID are not afraid of anything. Rather, they lack interest in eating food. For Hannah and others like her, food is broken into two categories, safe or unsafe. There's so many foods. Honey crisp apple, cantaloupe, cream cheese. What does the hearts mean and then what do the boxes mean? The hearts mean I like them and the boxes mean they're going on my safe food list. String cheese, animal cookies, and orange juice all recently tried, liked, and added to Hannah's safe list. Her 1.4 million Instagram followers cheering her on, including celebs like Rosie O'Donnell and Demi Lovato. When did you realize it wasn't just her being picky that this was something much larger at play? We noticed when she went to get her physicals at the doctors and her growth was not increasing at the rate that it was supposed to. She ended up falling off of the growth chart eventually. That's when we got concerned. Oftentimes, she couldn't even be in the same room with us when we were eating. With Hannah's health reaching a breaking point, her parents sought help from therapist Danielle Gordon. It really is in the category of phobias. And so we treat it as like an anxiety disorder. And the way that we treat that is through exposure therapy and educating the client on where the fear is coming from so that we can address and offer corrective experiences. And so how has that been for her? It's been very overwhelming. She is on cloud nine. She's very happy to prove to herself and prove to everybody else that's watching her that she can do it, that she can overcome these challenges. Your Instagram has helped you as well, right? Mm -hmm. It helps motivate me. Whenever I'm trying a food, I think about all the people that I'm helping. I was just very inspired by Hannah's videos. She is so brave in doing all the exposures that she does. 27-year-old Cassidy Arvidson lives in Brooklyn, New York, and also has ARFID. When I very first learned what ARFID was, I, like many people nowadays, went to social media to find any type of community, any resources, and I did not see anything. For years, Cassidy struggled to find answers, but was only formally diagnosed three years ago. I have had ARFID my entire life, but most of my life, I thought that I was just a picky eater. This list here is just a list of my safe foods. I have my non-safe foods listed here as well. This is just a reminder to try them, even though I may not be completely compelled to try them. The best that I can describe it is my brain just says no. Like it, it's literally like a wall, it's a block that 
it just prohibits me from eating this. Today, she's preparing one of her favorite safe dishes, Hamburger Helper, a meal not typically available to order at a restaurant. ARFID affects my life every single day. It affects my life socially more than anything, and it is very exhausting. Dating specifically, I really do not enjoy. And then other social events like going out with friends, meeting new people, work events. I think that we need to do a better job as an eating disorder community to give ARFID um, as much as the spotlight as the other disorders. And even research wise, we um, need to do more work around this area to, to really help people and provide proper treatment for all. For now, Hannah is doing what she can raising awareness. Some days, Honeydew Melon has her fighting back tears, and others, a taste of a sweet apple pear is followed by a smile. I really like this one. I want to add it to my list. Do you want to <laughs> do your finale? Yeah. <laughs> like and follow my arcade journey to see me try new foods. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.